everybody, my name is Ella. So today we're gonna do a very special pika deck reading. It's for anybody who is wondering if they tell another person how they feel. It doesn't have to be like falling in love and confessing, like professing your love to someone. Maybe it's just saying like if you if they hurt you or whatever, like expressing the truth about any situation with your crush or significant other or somebody you care about deeply. So this will be a pika deck reading to see what basically this person's reaction will be how it will go and anyway we'll try to get a little bit of guidance on that because today is actually jupiter conjunct sun in sagittarius which is super super auspicious placement so if you want to do something you know where you feel like you need a little bit of extra luck this is a perfect day to do so today when i'm recording this video and also a few days after this whole week really so whatever you start now, whatever you do now, will have some kind of positive application, implication to your life for the next years, maybe even a whole lifetime. So anyway, our options here are deck number one, Arcanum. I'm gonna start with this one today. Deck number two will be the After Tarot. And deck number three will be this, the After Tarot. So, for clarifiers, I'm going to use the Shaman's Oracle, Alice in Wonderland, cute little deck, and also Fairy Lenormand cards. So anyway guys, let's get started. Deck number one. So let's get started with the deck number one, Arcanum. Oof, I feel like Hunger Games now. <laughs> May the odds be ever in your favor. What's going to happen if you take this moment to be courageous and just express your truth, whatever it is, whatever it's feelings, to this person how you know they made you feel or what you really think whatever it is let's see first card here is seven of wands second card here is king of cups okay we have here two of swords that wants to come out we have here page of wands we have here Queen of Swords, we have Page of Cups, and the last card and final card, Knight of Pentacles. So what I'm getting from all of this is the person you're trying to connect with right now is very, very guarded. So maybe even you've already attempted somehow to come forward towards them, maybe you were expecting they will come forward, but they were guarded. It's almost like this person sees you and have the, this anxiety. They are like, you know, they are trying to run away. Maybe some of you who picked this deck are twin flames. But the thing is, the truth is, this person does have feelings for you. This person shares your feelings. They think about you a lot, even for some obsessively. If this person has, you know, they are obsessive if they have a Scorpio in their chart. So if the person you deal with has Scorpio in your chart, they could be obsessively thinking about you. But at the same time, this person has difficulty making a decision. It's almost like they are trying but like nothing is getting through so what i think my what i'm getting from these cards if you choose to take action to do this message page of wands is message them or contact them or express talk to them in some way you have to really rethink what is the place you are coming from i almost feel like whoever you are whatever your personality like you need to become the queen of swords not being harsh or anything, but what I'm getting is you need to really come to this decision from a position of power. So if, let's say, you find yourself when you're thinking, should I tell this person how I feel or not? If you feel like you're in this scattered place where you're not sure how they're going to even respond, oh, if they're going to like it, what if they're not going to like it, oh, they hurt me in the past, all of this has to go. I'm sorry to be like a little harsh maybe, but this is the message, the guidance I was getting today for many people, including myself. I feel like you have to be like this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords doesn't think like that. Queen of Swords is like, you know what, this has been bothering me. I think it's right action to express it, to say, and then whatever it is, we'll deal with it. If a person is mature enough, we go from there. If not, you know, then not. I'm just gonna go and move on and do other great things in my life because maybe this person hurts you, but you never said it. And maybe you are now like, you know what? I loved you, I had feelings for you, but all this bullshit you did, it really hurt me. Like, I, I'm not blaming you or anything, but I always felt like maybe you should know that. 
coming from a strong position, not from a weak position, coming from a very empowered place where you do this not for another person, not for any approval or any response back or not, but you're doing it for yourself. Like, I gotta say it, I have this tingling feeling in my chest every day and maybe this person also wants to say it, probably they do, but if they don't have the courage, it's their issue, it's not my issue, my issue is my courage, I gotta see where is my courage here, where is my lion's heart, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna express, I'm gonna say whatever it is. And I feel like, you know, there could be, a person will still be some, a little bit guarded, but I think the reaction will be positive. Not like we even care here about what their reaction will be so much, because I feel like for the person who picked group number deck, it's about them, coming into empowered place them coming into a place where they are you know kind of like overcoming certain barrier they have maybe you're shy maybe in general you find it difficult asking for what you want in life maybe in general you like you shy away the moment maybe you see this guy or girl with other people you shy away right away you go into this place where like oh they're hurting me i'm not good enough so maybe this is for you a major major opportunity to overcome that fear to start speaking your truth to start speaking for yourself to really really be a strong person who no longer is stuck in this limbo state and you just go after what you want you ask for it it doesn't matter this person what they want <laughs> here like let's forget about it for a moment what do you want like what do you want like a notebook when he was asking you what do you want <laughs> so maybe for some of you this is important here maybe this is your lesson um i'm gonna see i want to take possible outcome card from the same deck here we go i'll do this no problem eight of wands there will be movement forward. At least we are not stuck anymore. I feel like if you do take this action, there will be definitely movement forward. You will be going places. Whether you leave the situation behind and travel somewhere, or there will be movement in this situation, but things will finally start getting moving. Because also our first card here was seven of wands, person who was defensive, who was, you know, in this like defending themselves. Eight of wands here, we're going into a position where we are moving forward. Let's see what else. tower <laughs> it could possibly really be a major tower moment when a person will finally be like if it was somebody defensive they will be like oh no i gotta deal with it this is it my the game is over you know no more <laughs> extra lives here we gotta deal with it now or like it could go two ways it's either a person could really like be shaken up and realize that they gotta start re speaking their truth to you as well or maybe for you it could be also a major tower moment when you will realize that this is not moving and I'm gonna leave this behind and I'm gonna go and move forward in my life. And we have here the moon as well. The moon and four of pentacles. Somebody here has a lot of Cancerian energy, very guarded. But I think the moon will in a way kind of illuminate here why they were so guarded. They were still be a little shy though, I gotta tell you that. But we also have here an offer some kind of new beginning and especially if you're dealing with a person who has fire in their chart I think they will they will start speaking up as well one last card and we will take some clarifiers Ouch. oh why is this happening okay two cards that want to come out is ace of swords and three of cups so it's possible that whatever communication you receive there will be a moment like you celebrate some of you will go to a party maybe even this week where like this, in this party things will escalate somehow so let me take you a clarifier from Alice in Wonderland deck for fun <laughs> oh I beg your pardon it's almost like I feel for some of you this person if let's say you will especially tell them that they've hurt you or something they will be like really oh I had no idea did I had no idea I have hurt you with what I did I had no idea you like me maybe some of them will at first be a little bit like bullshitting around it and they would maybe when I get for some of you say oh if I knew how you felt about me why didn't you tell me before I would have never done it or something like that for some of you not for everyone don't forget it's a general reading guys Stay to the month clarifier. We have here again, I think this is the tower, but this is also stability. Something here will be of a, of a change. I read this Lenormand deck a bit differently than what it normally says, but I think 
you need to also listen to guidance if you can take some time at your home and just sit down and like kind of play meditative music and burn some sage i don't know and let the guidance come in you will see something but for some of you there will be a major tower moment which will be a good tower moment i would not suggest you to do something which is bad tower moment but you know whatever it is whatever will be the result of it you will be happy in the end take one guidance card from shamans vision so ask yourself what is your vision the person who you see yourself 10 years from now like would they how would they do like your more elevated self your more stronger self this the person you're trying to become how would they act in the situation would they act the way you do or would they act differently ask yourself this question there's no right or wrong but this is something to think about anyway group number one i think it's for you it's all about being a strong person and really moving forward with your truth Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram as Astro in Wonderland. And let's move to deck number two. So let's move to deck number two. If you chose the after tarot, let's see how this person, if you if you reach out to them, if you express this way, how they will feel. We have here the High Priestess, first card. We have here the Two of Pentacles. We have here Nine of Pentacles. We have here Page of Wands, we have here the Moon, we have here Page of Cups, and we have here the Empress. Hmm. So I think that the situation you've been dealing with was kind of mysterious for a long time. The person you were dealing with, you couldn't figure them out for a long time. And there were moments when you're like, I think they like me. And then there was a moment, no, they definitely don't like me. Because if they liked me, they would never do this. So you spent quite some time thinking about, should you approach this person? Should you not approach this person? Should you talk to them? Should you not talk to them? So I think you were, meanwhile, just kind of focusing on being your best self, trying to improve yourself. And... You often felt kind of abandoned by this person, even if you two were never in a relationship. Maybe they ignored you sometimes, or one day they were showing you interest, another day not. So, in a way, I think this is kind of similar to group number one, because you, you are making a choice to walk away from uncertainty. There is like, you feel there are so many good things in your life, and you don't want to be stuck anymore in a place where you're just wondering how this person feels, what's going on and all of that. So you're making this choice to face the uncertainty, face the darkness, face something that's not clear. And maybe even like for some of you, this person will apologize to you for something, but for some of them, they will also be very surprised by this communication. Maybe some of them didn't see it coming on it, or at least they will act surprised. But I feel like you are this beautiful empress who can ask for whatever you want you should really be in your element of just being flowing like flowing and allowing things to happen and really like allowing meaning like allowing energy to unfold in a natural way because you have a lot of power group number two you have very feminine very sexual very mysterious energy about you which is very alluring to this person so let's see how this person will react if you you know tell them what you want to tell them you have here page of pentacles hmm. Knight of Pentacles Ooh. and Justice. I think they will want to do things right in the right way. So even if they say, you know what, I have feelings for you too or whatever it is, but I feel like we need to be friends or like if we start a relationship, let's take it slowly. Whatever they will say will be stable. It will be good. I think you should accept it. Like, of course, if it resonates with you because they will try to be to make it very fair, not just for themselves, not just for you, but for everybody in the situation. So this is good. Maybe you will just start things very slowly with this person, get to know them, be friends. And we have here, it was careless of him to put another man's helmet on it with a man on it too. Maybe some of them will also kind of acknowledge that in the... Oh, another card wants to come up. I wish she wouldn't keep appearing and vanishing make one quite giddy. I think this is, talks about the past. You felt like one day this person likes you, another, pers another day they don't like you. But they were kind of just ignorant about the situation. Maybe they didn't know you liked them as well. Like they just didn't know. There's just a bit of this ignorant energy coming from them. Let's take you a Lennerman clarifier. We have here, this is the masculine energy, the sun and the ring. So I think this is actually a pretty stable masculine who wants to have serious relationship. But they like to take things slowly, that's the thing about them. 
they often feel alone, but at the same time, they have this very hidden, mysterious energy about them where they often sit and wonder about their life, about their future, if they're on the right path, they're like looking for things, looking for meaning of life. But I think this person does want commitment, so this is very positive news. Any advice from the Shaman's Oracle? Dancer of Lies. Okay. An ancestor of tribes. So maybe in the past there was some kind of situation where also in the collective where you are with this person, if let's say you're co workers or something, somebody was deceitful, somebody maybe said something about you or about them which was not quite true. So it's about really kind of now coming together with people around you and trying to see through the slides, trying to see what the truth is. And you know what the best solution for when you're not sure if it's a lie or truth, you need to ask a person because so often we assume things about another person or whatever based on whatever we hear or whatever like sometimes the mixed signals could be but sometimes the best thing honestly if you really want to know the truth is to ask like straightforward way and uh, if you get it great maybe you don't get it maybe another person is not mature enough to give you this truth but whatever it is you will have enough at least more information to move forward so anyway group number two looks good i think something stable is here but you also need to be like more straightforward with this situation let's move on to deck number three so if you chose the legacy of the divine sarah deck number three let's see about your crush if you share your feelings with them or if you share your pain with them or whatever it is you want to share what's gonna happen first card ace of pentacles okay the world <laughs> King of Wands, so we could be dealing with the fixed signs, fire sign, three of cups. We have here Wheel of Fortune, two of pentacles. It's so funny how all the readings have similar cards and eight of cups. I also have here seven of wands, well. So I think if you do share what you want, your feelings with this person, this will be an ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. Ace of Pentacles offers us a new opportunity and the world here shows us we've completed something, we've, we, we are ready for our next level basically. I think the person you're dealing with could be fire sign, so if you, you know, dealing with a fire sign this could be extra confirmation and I also think this person has a very strong personality like when they don't like something they always speak up when they want something they do sometimes they could be even ignorant of others they don't care how others feel not because they're a bad person because they don't care but because they are so focused on themselves they are so into what makes me feel good what should I do that like they are their own priority so in a way this is kind of like an invitation to learn from this person like if this person wants to do something they do it so if let's say you want to contact this person in some way you kind of need to learn from their energy here like why stop yourself just do say what you want to say ask for what you want to ask for some of you there will also be some kind of event party maybe some kind of uh, event this week that will be in a way life transforming i think this will be a very like universe in a way trap how they organize it for you to be there and for something major major to happen there for some of you depending on how this will go you know you will have to come to some kind of situation where you're balancing you will choose I think to leave behind the pattern of being defensive because they were defensive but you were also defensive in some way so you were mirroring each other in this way so for some of you there is an opportunity to end the cycle of being defensive not saying how we feel but instead like continuing the BS for some of you major opportunity to do this let's see a little bit more about what's the future outcome if you choose to go on that route if you choose to go that way you have here four of wands wow so for some of you you could start a relationship a commitment could come ten of wands and king of pentacles you know i think a person you're dealing with is very overwhelmed right now with what's happening in their career finances in their life even if they're not showing to you so when you start a relationship you need to have to be mindful of that if it does go to relationship stage because they have a lot going on that they don't want to show you and this could manifest is either when you start dating they will be sometimes disappearing and uh, because they are kind of embarrassed to tell you what's really going on so you need to be mindful of that uh, and to kind of like encourage honest communication with this person or in other situations it's just like something you need to also accept it doesn't have to be that way i think maybe like even 
I think this in a way this person doesn't want you to see what they're dealing with they want to kind of shield you protect you from what they're going through but let's see a little more but I think this, there is a possibility of commitment in this deck yes and look at this two of cups because I, they do share your feelings they do love you too and here ace of swords they want this truth they want the new beginning with you they're also done with lying because this caused them a lot of sadness before like they were very sad Whatever was happening, they were like, I can't believe this is still happening between us. I wish things were differently. One last card. Three of Wands. And also some of them, I don't know if you said that you're leaving or something. Or maybe they think you will leave somehow. Maybe moving to different city. They are very scared of that somehow. Let's stay to clarify from Alice in Wonderland. The race is over, but who has won? Don't go splashing paint over me like that. <laughs> so... You know, don't approach the situation from ego, approach it from your soul. Because this is not just about winning the race and seeing who is in a better position, who is stronger, who is like, you know, more like, you know, like who wins. Because some people think if they get rejected, they're lost. But no, don't look about it this like that. Just express yourself, like express yourself from a pure, from a good place, from a place of a good heart. Let's take a clarifier from Lennerman. Okay, so clarifier from Lennerman deck. Ooh, I like this deck number three. I was storing myself between one and three, but a message, communication, communication that somehow will change how the dynamic of this relationship was before. Let's give you an advice from the shamans. The answer of beginning. So first card here was Ace of Pentacles. So this deck is definitely all about beginnings. There will be a new beginning on this person. Maybe it's not exactly how you envision it, but you know, this week's energy is also all about destiny. So it's almost like you can run from your destiny as much as you want. You can postpone things, you can do this, but there's certain things, not everything. There's of course free will and all of that, but there are certain things that you could try and run away from it, but it's somehow, even if it's a more challenging process, more painful process, they will still fall into place sooner or later. So I think you guys are falling into place somehow here. As much as situation you've been dealing with, I'm also getting was very challenging for quite a while. But I think if you do choose to approach this person to express your truth, there will be movement forward. And you know, it's not so much also even about what this other person thinks, but you know that if you feel something, it's important to you. Sometimes we are so caught up wondering what another person think, we forget that, you know, it's about how we feel and what we choose to do, what we feel, what another person will do with what they feel, it's their business. But here it's about, you know, expressing this for you, not for them. And if you can come into this place of empowerment, integrity, speaking your truth, being truthful, being strong, you will see how there will be a lot of, you know, things falling into place, you know, a lot of confusion will go away. And right now, yes, Jupiter was together with Sun, it's an incredible opportunity. We all will feel some kind of new beginning, you know, in different area of our life. All this week is about planting seeds. So guys, I wish you amazing, amazing week. I hope you bless the best seeds for whatever it is your heart desires. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you have Instagram, follow me there. It's Astro and Wonderland and we will talk soon. Bye bye guys.